Volcanologists are scientists who study volcanoes. What are they looking for? Find out on Science Trek. <music> Jeff Johnson is a volcanologist. He and his students at Boise State University travel the world studying volcanoes. One is Reventador in Ecuador. It is one of the most beautiful volcanoes in the world. Johnson and his team also study Kilauea in Hawaii. And the difference between these two volcanoes are their shape. Uh, it looks deeper and it looks more like a classic volcano. Whereas Kilauea is a, is a low slope volcano such that sometimes people go to the top and wonder where the volcano is. The lava coming out of these two volcanoes is different. Kilauea, which is a shield volcano, tends to have very fluid or runny or low viscosity lavas. Volcanoes that explode and have much more steep slopes, which are called stratovolcanoes, tend to have stickier lavas. And those lava flows will move down slope more slowly and will often be much, much thicker. Lavas from different volcanoes may have a different chemical composition. It's based on the chemical makeup of the rocks melted to make the lava. For instance, a basaltic lava um, would be darker in color. It would be uh, less viscous, meaning it would flow faster than, say, a rhyolite lava, which will be lighter in color and will be more viscous and flow slower. Volcanologists use different tools to find out if a volcano is going from a quiet or dormant state to one heading for an eruption. Probably the most important, which is seismometer. And the seismometer is useful for detecting earthquakes and is, it gives us an opportunity to see if things are moving underneath the surface. We're looking at the gases that come out of the volcano and whether or not there's more or, or less gas that is changing over time. And finally, we're interested in the thermal signature of the volcanoes. A thermal signature is a picture taken by a special heat sensing camera. Hotter areas show up on the picture, giving scientists a better idea what the volcano is doing. Typically, we think of stratovolcanoes as being more deadly because the viscosity of the lava is higher, and that means the volcano tends to explode. A lot of people live near volcanoes, and the hazards they pose towards those people um, really drive volcanologists to study and learn about eruptions and, and uh, the potential hazards that um, can really drastically affect communities. Idaho's most famous volcanic area is Craters of the Moon National Monument. Here the lava flows are as recent as a couple thousand years ago. From a geologic perspective, Craters of the Moon is an active volcanic region. It doesn't necessarily mean that Craters of the Moon is going to erupt in uh, our lifetimes, but will likely erupt at some point in the future. But volcanologists aren't too worried about an eruption at Craters of the Moon, because they know the type of volcanoes there, and they know what signs to expect prior to an eruption. From historic record, we know that Craters of the Moon erupt more um, effusively, which means it erupts lavas that just flow very slowly around the area. So even the small communities that are around Craters of the Moon are probably not at risk. That's why most volcanologists do what they do. They want to see science used to save lives. But studying volcanoes is still a bit of a mystery. I wanted to become a volcanologist primarily because I, I like science. I like being presented with a question that no one knows the answer to. And as a scientist, your job is to answer that question and provide that answer to the public. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.